given let us discuss this example so in this example we have to find the value of this integral okay so let us write the given integral first yes i have written that thing also but we will try to express it in a standard form that means we will try to express as a dot product of two vector valued functions so the same thing we can write in this way integration over c 2xyi plus x square z z plus x square y k dot product with dx i plus dy z plus dz k. So you know well how to take a dot product multiple of i into multiple of i plus multiple of z into multiple of z plus multiple of k into multiple of k. So we'll have this integral again. Get it? So the first bracket is nothing our f bar okay vector valued function and that is nothing but our dr bar okay so the same integral we have expressed in this way so let me mention here f bar is equal to okay f bar is equal to what is our f bar 2xy comma x square z comma x square y okay so we can write the same thing in terms of i j k or you can write in this way also so this is our f bar after that we will try to find parameterization of a given curve so tell me what is a given curve did you notice they have not given curve getting so they have not given curve c is any oriented curve they have simply mentioned it is any oriented curve so but they have given very important information here c is oriented curve that means the value of integral depends on end points only let me mention all these things here here c is c is an oriented curve okay so it is an oriented curve so therefore integration over c f bar dot dr bar depends on depends on n points of c only okay so that means it it does not depends on curve it can be parabola can be straight line can be part of circle anything what you can take okay since the value of integral depends on end points only so let us take a straight line okay so let us consider a straight line so we consider we consider a straight line here straight line okay so then parameterization of c will be parameterization of c will be we will denote it by alpha alpha defines on close interval 0 1 2 r 3 so you know that when we have a straight line which joins these two points so it has some standard parameterization so alpha always we define on close interval 0 1 and it is defined as defined as alpha of t is equal to 1 minus t into starting point which is 1 1 1 plus t into end point 1 2 4 let us simplify it further so this is equal to 1 minus t into 1 1 minus t 1 minus t into 1 1 minus t similarly for last component also 1 minus t plus let us multiply t 2t and 4t you know well how to add we will add component wise 1 minus t plus t we will have 1 1 minus t plus 2t 1 plus t 1 minus t plus 4t 1 plus 3t so this thing we will have right so we have got alpha of t after that we will find some basic things just like alpha dash of t f of alpha of t now alpha dash of t so that means simply we find its derivative derivative will be 0 derivative is 1 derivative is 3 so this is our alpha dash of t now f of alpha of t okay so which is equal to f of what is our alpha of t here 1 1 plus t and 1 plus 3 t after that we are applying f what is definition of f this one so this definition i should follow to find its value so this is equal to 2xy so 2 product of this 2 which is 1 plus t obviously comma x square z what is our x square square of 1 is 1 and z z is 1 plus 3t so 1 plus 3t i should write and x square y square of 1 is 1 so 1 into y that means we will have 1 plus t only so this is f of alpha of t we have got alpha dash of t we have got f of alpha of t so let us apply the definition of line integral of vector field to find its value but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further see then integration over c f bar dot dr bar is equal to integration 
so that c has parameterization alpha which is defined on closed interval 0 1 so limits of integral will be 0 1 okay so inner product of f of alpha of t right alpha dash of t so let us put these values purposely i kept those values here so integration 0 to 1 inner product of f of alpha of t we have got let me solve this bracket huh 2 plus 2t two okay 1 plus 3t and the last one is 1 plus t comma alpha dash of t is 0 1 3 dt so this is equal to okay so see uh, these things are not required so let me remove so we will have some more space to solve this problem right okay it is removed now so you know well how to find the value of inner product first component into first component plus second into second plus third into third so integration 0 to 1 1 plus 2t into 0 obviously 0 1 plus 3t into 1 1 plus 3t plus 1 plus t into 3 so 3 plus 3t let us simplify so 0 to 1 3t plus 3t 6t okay 1 plus 3 4 dt so it's very easy to find its integration so yes 6 is constant integration of t will be t square by 2 so 6 t square by 2 plus integration of 4 is 4t with limit 0 to 1 so let us put 1 first okay we have some sp space here so let us use so i am putting 1 so 1 square is 1 6 by 2 so we'll have 3 plus if i put 1 here we will have 4 if I put 0, uh, both terms will give us 0 value. So, this is C1, which is a required answer. Okay. So, yes, example is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.